An autopsy report, a school bus nearly four hours missing, and the viewer's voice itself under scrutiny in the voice tonight. But we begin with the reaction to the murder of a Harris County Sheriff's deputy. Here is your viewer's voice. Funeral services for the Harris County Sheriff's deputy ambushed and murdered while putting gas in his police cruiser. Oh, my heart just goes out to that deputy family and those two precious children. How could you cold-bloodedly kill someone who has given a life to serve and protect you? This caller doesn't think it was a race-related crime, just an anger-fueled attack and focuses on the gun. These are people that have anger, emotional issues. And let's face it, they are people that want quick results. And the gun is a very quick result. It's murder, and on top of that, it's called a hate crime. That's the motive, hate crime. Dozens of people called with that take and to rip us for not declaring it a hate crime. I mean, that's a hate crime by the state. A black guy shot a white guy. That ought to be put up as a hate crime. I mean, y'all need to get your head out of your That is purely a hate crime. And our news people really need to start mentioning hate crimes when it's black against white. We don't do the labeling. Investigators do. Just because a suspect and victim aren't the same race is not necessarily a hate crime. Police need to investigate the motive and when and if they label it a hate crime, then we'll report it. The Dallas County Sheriff released video of the struggle on the jail lobby floor that left a man dead. And that is why somebody needs to be standing in those doors and not letting us like that get into a place like that. The reporter reporting said even though it's been rendered a homicide, it does not mean a crime has been committed. What? If it's a homicide, it's a crime. Actually, no. A homicide isn't necessarily a murder or even a crime. It means a death caused by another. A self-defense killing, for example, is a homicide but not a murder or a crime. The autopsy report is out on the unarmed young man shot and killed by police while burglarizing an Arlington car dealership. It shows positive for THC linked to marijuana and a new synthetic drug known as N-bomb, which can produce erratic, sometimes violent behavior. With those drugs in that kid's system, he could have easily overpowered that cop and taken away his gun and shot the cop with it. I'm so sorry for the family's loss, but you got to keep the kids off the drugs. I knew that young man had something in his system. I knew he had some drugs. So the NAACP, the parents, the people with the signs that's marching, talking about this and that don't matter and that matters, need to sit down somewhere because this boy was committing a crime. Very young children trapped on a bus that was missing for nearly four hours. It finally showed up, and the school and the bus company very slow to get information to parents about what actually happened. And if you don't know where you're going, stop and tell somebody to come and get you when you have children on there. And I know things break down, but you have all summer to get these buses together. Finally calls about the viewer's voice itself. Oh my goodness, the viewer's voice is taking a life of its own. I love it. I wish somebody else would do the viewer's voice because Steve Eager is never wrong and always so sarcastic to people. Goodness, can you not respond with a, hey, I made a mistake every now and then? Yes. Hey, I made a mistake playing your phone call. Oh, oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sarcastic. I just finished watching the viewer's voice. It's Friday night, um, and... It was awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. It rocks. I was rolling. Call the voice, 214-720-3103. Uh, uh, That's somebody's call, too. I have no idea. Or you can send an email from fox4news.com.